perhaps the most anticipated character from Cars on the Road, the long-awaited Mato. Here we finally have one of the most prominent characters in the entire show despite only appearing in the final episode. I'm honestly surprised it took so long for Mattel to release her and it hasn't even been a year yet but when you compare her to all the other characters they've already done ranging from a random ghost to salt flats racers that kind of does put in the perspective like wow they really did hold out on Mato and even a bit on Mateo who they put out a couple months ago but regardless just happy to have her it is only a year not even that we had to wait and I don't think that's that bad all in all yeah guys this is pretty exciting my luck streak has continued in terms of in-store finds you know how I found case L in full the other day at Target and I reviewed it for you guys well, the next day, I had an inkling to go to Walmart, which for whatever reason, you know, I don't know why, I never go to Walmart on Tuesdays midday. That's dumb. I mean, maybe it's not so dumb, but I always thought, like, i just go Friday after work and call it a day. But I just felt like, hey, I'm going to go. Gonna go check it out Tuesday and bam, there was the full case K, which of course is only a half case because that's what Walmart gets in. And the other two notable cars are Mallory Carhut, who is in L as well. So she's been popped up a lot. And then Patty, her first Thailand release. And so I don't know if I'll review her. I'll have to look at her a little bit, but I will show you her right now for laughs and giggles. Love the artwork and how it fills up the entire card there. This is her first time being released as a single, I think a very long time. So that is pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's been, oh my God, since 2016 maybe, 2016? So not too, too long. But yeah, it's good to see her back. Obviously though, Mata was the one I was truly there for. I was a little nervous because I saw Mallory, I saw Patty. And I'm like, oh my God, where's Mato? You gotta be kidding me. And yep, thank goodness she was there. She was chilling. And yeah, what else do I have to kind of say about her in this preamble? I mean, she's like the fourth most main character in Cars on the Road, but they didn't lead with her. I think it's honestly because Mattel knew she would be so popular and so sought after. They tried to build up a little bit of hype, a little bit of anticipation, and that's exactly what they did. There is a mini racer of her out as well in a multi-pack, so they know that Mato is going to be like a big deal. So they put her as the exclusive in a multi-pack. And that version of her, just for the record, does not have the flower crown here, the little headdress. So something interesting to note, will they do a 155 scale version of Mato without it as well? I mean, it is just a plastic piece, so I'm not really sure. But interesting. It's an interesting choice to do it with the headdress, probably because Mattel provided the artwork with it. I'm not sure. Whatever. Doesn't really matter all that much. But yeah. She's looking very cool, kind of has a nice teal metallic paint job. You could see the M on her hubcaps there, which did not translate to the die cast, sadly, but <laughs> it is what it is. This is actually a pretty heavy car, like when I was, you know, I grabbed her at the store. She is a little bit heavier than Mallory Carhut, for example. Not quite as heavy as Mater here, but yeah, I mean, it's a good value, especially at Walmart when the cars are still $3.72 instead of $5 at Target. Although someone told me that they brought the price down to $3.99, which I haven't seen personally yet, but hopefully that's true. Anyways, obviously this is new for 2023. Can't take my eyes off her. She looks so cool. On the back here, you have the cars on the road design motif along with Road Rumbler Mater. Mateo, who was released in case H. West Philanthropist, Case J, same with Rumbler Mater there. You have Griswold just chilling in the center as he always is. And then Mallory Carhut from Case K. And then, like I said, she reappears in Case L. Now, the Quadratorcas are here. There's a little bit of a story. He was originally for Case H, got pushed back to Case K, but... The Walmart version excludes him along with the new Thailand variants of Tubbs Pacer and Vladimir Trunkov. So unfortunately, at the moment, Quadratorcasar and those two lemons are not available in the United States. They're only being found in the UK right now where Case K is being found in full at a store called like B&M or something like that. B&M, something along those lines. It may be another store as well. 
And so, yeah, could it be a Dana Crankoff situation where we get to the end of the year and, you know, when it's all said and done, the case in full never made it to the United States, at least at major retailers. I mean, again, you think back to the Dana Crankoff case, Walmart got it, right? But Walmart's case excluded Dana Crankoff along with some of the other ones in that case, like Bertha Butters, Wagon, Dexter, Kabuto, Caddy Copter, Yellow Hydraulic, Ramon. And the case did hit Fred Meyers, HEB type stores like that, but those are very minor regional retailers. So effectively, Dana Crankoff was an international exclusive could that happen for the quadratorcus are here and those other two we will see it also matters if they appear in case m which is the final case and so <laughs> yeah we're already on the final case that's the only case that hasn't been released yet at all so yeah it's not looking good but anyways guys i will be right back with mato all opened up almost pains me a little bit because she's on such a great card but we'll do it I have to say, I'm pretty grateful for the luck I had the last two days here, you know, finding full cases L and K back to back on a Monday and a Tuesday at inopportune times of the day. Pretty, pretty lucky. I came back to earth though. I came right back down to earth later in the day on Tuesday. I went to Walmart and Target in a different town. Wasn't really, you know, expecting to find anything like I didn't already have. Maybe the two packs at Target, but Walmart just had Case J, but you know, whatever, no big deal. Case L remnants at Target, like bad remnants. Like literally the only two were like Sarge and Road Trip Mater. Like that's how picked over it was. And I was like, yep, this is usually what would happen to me. So hey, at least I had found it the night before in full. But yeah, that is like right back to reality. Anywho, oh, I also did find the Red and Stanley two-pack, which is like a slap to the face. There's like so many new two-packs out and that's the one I find, but it's all good. I'm sure they just got in case R based on the looks of it. They didn't get in cases S or T. All right, Mato time. Mato time it is indeed. There she is in the episode. Obviously appears a ton during that last episode, the finale, Get in Hitch, when, or should I say really before she gets married to Mateo, she's doing all these challenges to with Mater, trying to prove that she's the better, superior sibling. Did get a little bit much for me, honestly. Like, I don't know. I feel like they could have done it in a more creative way. It felt a little bit repetitive, and some of the things they were doing were just so unrealistic that it got to the point where it's like this is just like goofy it's like okay i can bend my imagination a little bit for some of the other episodes when they did some of those more like fantastical things like you know whether it be the lights out episode like we don't really know what went on there of course there were a few others like that i mean the road rumblers episode is not really fantastical but there are some not so believable elements to that for sure trucks gets really superfluous and so when you have a grounded episode like this at the wedding and yet you still find a way to make it really goofy and lofty in the sense that they're jumping in the trees and whatnot you know what i mean it's like that was the perfect opportunity to end the show in a very like grounded creative way without having to do anything beyond the limits of the physics that we had come to accept in the Cars universe and they're like nope no nope, we're gonna make it super goofy as well it's like oh my god what the hell Disney and Pixar and I know I sound like I'm bagging on Cars on the Road I do like the show but I certainly have quite a few issues with it as well but one of my issues or one of my not issues is all of the amazing diecast that it's brought us and all the new life it's breathed into the franchise because that, that is really fantastic for me but yeah all right here we have mato and she looks great she is super long as she should be to be accurate let's take a look let's take a gander here nice expression for sure she's looking straight ahead but it looks very accurate to how she looks in the episode her grill is a plastic piece same thing with these side view mirrors here and the bumper nice expression for sure Looks like how she looked on the card art, but just looking straight and to the side. It's crazy. This paint's so reflective. You could see your own eyes on the hood there. And it is like a more metallic 
blue, which is very nice because, again, that is accurate to the show. Whereas with Randy, for example, and I haven't even opened Randy yet. I was going to for today's video, but because <laughs> I found Mato, I was like, all right, there's only one car I'm going to review from Case K, at least right now, and it's Mato. So let's just get her in there. Let's slip her in. Randy will get the Saturday spot anyways. Anywho, Randy is like a flat red, even though he should be kind of like this as well. Like he should have the same paint effect as Mato here, but he doesn't, at least from what I could tell, which is a little disappointing. Anyways, moving on here, the wheels look really good with the gray and white trim and the blue center piece. However, again, it is supposed to have M right there, but they don't even have anything. It's just a hole for the axle. Same thing with the ones here in the back that you can't even see because they are enclosed. And then you have this plastic piece up here. It is kind of nice. They put some green detailing in there to make it look actually flowery and leafy. I think the eyes look pretty good. You can see some granulation, some lines, some streaks, but I think it looks good. It's a very classy, elegant car for sure. Like I like how the windows are all evenly painted, like the lining, the lining down here, the handlebars, all looks really clean. On the back here, I'm kind of surprised she doesn't have a license plate. But, oh, they did have a nice little detail here. It's kind of hard to see, but it says M. It has the M stamped on the trunk handle right there. That looks pretty good. Nice tail lights, again, nice back window. But yeah, she's a solid piece of metal. There's a lot of metal on her for sure. Made in Thailand, S20A means she was made during the 20th week of 2023 at the A factory, which is right where everyone's at right now. I think there were some S23s I've seen, maybe, maybe on some of those new two packs. But yeah, it looks like everything, like this Mallory, just take my word for it, the Mallory is S20. And so is Patty. The Mater out of case L is S21A. So yeah, everyone's kind of coming out at the same time. There was a huge gap there for a while. Like in April and May, it was a little rough. <laughs> it was a little kind of, <laughs> it was a little brutal for us cars collectors. And then June 15th hit, and you got like G, H, and J all at once. And then there was another like tiny gap. And now we're getting hit with the two packs K and L at the same time. And K is supposed to be coming out like right now. Like, so this is pretty accurate, like August 15th, pretty good. Case L is a whole month early, as I talked about. And so that leaves case M, which hopefully will come a month early. But eventually there will be some gap here again. I mean, it's just cyclical. It's just kind of how it goes, whether it's for case M, like we don't get case M till October or I think the more likely outcome is that we don't get 2024 stuff until December and we get maybe KCM like toward the end of September. We'll see how it all pans out. Maybe there'll be a sneaky case N. Wouldn't that be awesome if there was like an additional bonus case to make up for them canceling case H or case A on us at the beginning of the year? But yeah, Mato looks great. How does she look with Mateo? Do they look accurate? And I'd say for sure, like... There is a shot of them like this in the episode. And I will try and put it on the screen there. I probably will forget. So if I remember, I'm going to like definitely give me a little compliment in the comments. Instead of like, if I forget yelling at me, how about if I remember praise me? I think that sounds like a good plan. But to me, I think they look really good. Maybe Mateo should be like a smidge bigger, just a smidge. But all in all, I think they look great. And again, I think it was actually a good decision to put the flowers on their head because Mateo has the bouquet on his side view mirror there. So they kind of match in that way. Like it's the same kind of textured plastic and same shade and all that stuff. And he also has similar wheels, but obviously way smaller. But yeah, similar design there. Different shade of blue though, that's for sure. Interesting. Yeah, you guys let me know in the comment section below. Who do you prefer, Mato or Mateo? I think it's a pretty easy choice. I don't really think anyone will say Mateo. I kind of feel bad for the guy, but that's just because Mato is such a cool, unique release. I mean, we talked about for a long time how cars on the road use so many reskins and repainted so many models. 
Can't say that about Mato. Mato is a brand new model and I found it very difficult to come up with cars to compare her to today. I think the Queen is definitely the most comparable. Just kind of similar shape and all that stuff, but even the Queen is quite a bit larger than Mato. And Mato is large, but yeah. They give off similar vibes too, in terms of like the mansion that Mato has her wedding at literally looks like it could be in England. It's almost as if McQueen and made her traveled across like a huge bridge, like on their road trip. Like that's literally what they meant by going east. Like they went all the way east. <laughs> I mean, it just looks like that. It just looks like that. So yeah, cool. There's that. And I thought bring out the big D. You guys know any chance I get. I love this guy from the Disney store. I think he's got, you know, a great expression looking off to the side there like that. He's a little bit more involved. I mean, he's got white wall tires. Look at those intricate wheels with the spokes, bonus tire. But yeah, still again, similar idea in terms of the model shape and all that stuff. And can you guys guess the last car I brought to compare Amato to? Santa car, I know. What a diverse selection here. We went from Big D, the Queen, to Santa car. But truly though, they are all kind of in that same realm almost, you know, of body shape. Yeah, good stuff. All right, guys, let me know in the comments, have you been able to find Mato yet? In terms of the United States, she's only being found at Walmart currently. I know it's getting a little confusing. Like whenever a whole bunch of stuff comes out at the same time and there are some cars in both cases, by the way, we should probably show Mato with her brother Mater. I think they look really good together. Would never guess that they're you know, siblings, but they look great together. Anyways, yeah, when like multiple cases are coming out at the same time and there are carryovers between them, i.e. Mallory Carha, it definitely gets confusing, but to just make it easy on you, if you're in the United States and you want to find case L, which I just did a review on, so you should know who's in that case, go to Target. If you want to find Mato and Patty, those are the only two reasons you'd want to go to Walmart right now is for Mato and Patty because those are the only two that are not being found at Target at this moment because you can get Mallory at Target. Now again, of course, cheaper, Mallory would be cheaper at Walmart than Target, but Target is the only place that you could get Randy, you can only get Squat, you can get the single of Breaker Boggs, and then whoever else I showed there, Oh, Greg Candyman, Donna Pitts, Jay Shusteer, et cetera, et cetera. Johnny Blamer, another shot at Doug Crankle, another shot at Emily or Kelly Beambright. And then I should also note Breaker Boggs, single at Target in the five pack at Walmart, perhaps one of the most easiest new cars to find out there right now because every Walmart I've gone to has gone in like five of these multi-packs with breaker bogs. I'm very concerned because that's way too many, but it's out there in full. Thanks as always for watching guys. I appreciate it. And I'll see you soon for another video. Bye now.